Hi, Erwan from Motion VFX. In this new DaVinci Resolve lesson, we will focus on the audio inside the edit page. DaVinci Resolve has a dedicated page for mixing audio, the Fairlight page, but during the editing, you may need to adjust some levels, pan, or add some fade in, fade out. We will see that you can do it directly inside the edit page, and you will have also access to many powerful tools. I will work with my audio sync project from a previous lesson. If you didn't watch it, don't hesitate to look at it as it will also cover the audio part in the media page. In my media pool, I've got my video with the audio sync from George and I've got also the background music. In my project, I've got a title from mintro2 pack from Motion VFX, so I can double click on the video shot to load it inside the viewer. You can ask to visualize only the audio waveform to help you to select the right sentence. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you To add your video clips, there are many ways. You can click inside the timeline, then you can drag your clip over the viewer, and you will get a dedicated menu with many options, like Insert, Overwrite, Replace. Here, I will select the Overwrite option, and the clip will be added at the playhead position. The video will be added on the video track 1, and the audio will be added on the audio track 1. You can customize how DaVinci Resolve displays the tracks. Just click on the icon on the left, and you will get access to multiple display options. In the timeline options, you can ask DaVinci Resolve to display the audio waveforms inside the audio tracks. Inside the video options, you can ask to get less video thumbnails. It will help you to be less distracted if you want to focus on the audio editing. Inside the audio view options, you can choose between three options. The first one is to show the non-rectified waveforms. It means that the waveforms will be mirrored. If you disable this option, you will see only the positive values. The second option will lower down the waveform at the bottom of the tracks. Could be great if there are a lot of dynamics. The only drawback is that it can hide the name of the track. And the third option will add an outline around the waveforms to get more contrast. With the track height, you can scale up or down the size of the video tracks and the audio tracks independently. In this case, we will work on the audio tracks, so I will reduce the video track and increase the height of the audio tracks. OK, now let's add the music track. One other way to add an audio element inside the timeline is to drag and drop the clip directly inside the timeline. DaVinci Resolve will automatically create a new audio track. You can create yourself manually the tracks. You just have to do a right click on the tracks panel. You will have the options Add Track and Add Tracks. The first option will offer us the possibility to create one audio track as I've done a right click on the audio area. The second one will give us the possibility to create multiple tracks at once, video and audio tracks. In this case, I want only the audio tracks, so I will set to zero the number of the video tracks, and I will ask to create two audio tracks. You can decide if they will be placed below or above the first track, and you can also select what type of the audio tracks you want, mono, stereo or surround. You can name very easily each track. This could be very useful when you want to organize all your tracks. So I will name the first one George. The second one, I will call it Dylan. And the third track, I will name it Music. So we've seen that we can directly drag and drop the audio clip to one track, but how does it work with the other ways? If I use the viewer menu and select the override option like before, we can see that the music will overwrite the George track, so I will undo it. In fact, we need to tell DaVinci Resolve where it should do the editing operation. We can see on the first audio track that there is a little red square on A1. This red square indicates to DaVinci Resolve where to proceed the editing operation. So if I click on A3 on the music track, it will automatically change to A1. So DaVinci Resolve, we set the destination of the source audio track 1 to the music track of the timeline. So now we can proceed to the overwrite editing operation and the music will go to the right track in the timeline. And it is also working if you are using keyboard shortcuts like F10 for overwrite. I will remove the audio track 2 as I need only the George interview. So with a right click, I will select the delete track option. On the right part of the panel, we can see some numbers 1.0 and 2.0. These numbers indicate the number of channel, one for mono and two for stereo. 
we can change the properties of the track at any time by doing a right click and select the option change track type 2. Then you will have the options to switch to mono, stereo, surround and more. Below you will have the options to change the color of the track. That could be very useful to easily visualize your voice, your music and the sound effects. Here I will switch to orange my music track. Let's play it. Here the music is very loud and George is very low. If you need to focus on one track, you can press the S button to activate the solo mode. It means that DaVinci Resolve will mute automatically all the other audio tracks. I'm going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. Very useful when you have many audio tracks. But you can also mute tracks manually by pressing the M icon. M stands for mute. Hello, my name is George Edvinson on MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin... To conclude with the tracks panel on the left, I would like to remove the beginning of the video clip and start directly when George starts to talk. So I will place the playhead at the right position and press the keyboard shortcut Command plus B to cut everything at this position. Very useful and effective shortcut. So now I will select my video and audio clip and proceed to a ripple delete by pressing the forward delete key. And we can see that we have a problem as the music track has been also affected by the ripple delete. To avoid this kind of situation, there are two solutions. First, you can lock the music track by clicking on the padlock icon. Or you can avoid the cut of the music track at the beginning by using the auto track selector option. If you disable it, DaVinci Resolve won't perform the cut operation on the music track. So if I press Command plus B again, this time music track is not affected by the cut. And I can do my ripple delete. To conclude, one tip concerning the link between the video and the audio clip. By default, the video clip is linked to the audio track. This is very useful during the edit to see if we are losing the synchronization. But sometimes you may want to unlink both and you don't want to see red numbers everywhere inside your timeline. To unlink the video and audio track, you just have to select both, do a right click and uncheck the link clips option. Now, if you move the video clip, you won't have the red numbers anymore. Okay, so in this lesson we have seen how to edit audio clips inside the timeline and get an overview of the audio track panel. In the next lesson, we will see how to mix and add effects on the audio elements. To get notified when the new lessons will be available, don't forget to subscribe to the Motion VFX YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.